Evening y'all, welcome back to the cotton trail on this beautiful fake spring, fake, don't plant your garden y'all, fake spring <laughs> evening. So it's like a wonderful 55 degrees. We've had on and off been getting up to like the 70s here in Arkansas. Just excellent weather guys. And it is, it's killing me, it's boggling. We're supposed to get snow on Friday y'all. Like here in Arkansas, we're supposed to get snow on Friday. And I'm losing my mind. Um, so today I went grocery shopping and I hit the garden center with the best intentions of just looking. And I failed. I failed miserably. Um, <laughs> I bought some asparagus roots that I need to get started. I've been saying I'm going to start an asparagus patch on this property for like three years. I could be eating asparagus right now if I just did it. I keep waiting for like the perfect way to do things and it's just completely paralyzes me where I'm at. Um, but I got some asparagus roots that I'm going to be starting here soon. I got one thyme plant. I didn't get any. I, I didn't get any like actual garden plants. No flowers. Don't buy them yet. You're going to put them out and then you know what's going to happen? It's going to freeze. That's me telling myself and you. <laughs> um, and guys, I bought blackberry and raspberry plants. So this is like a double here and I got these actually at Walmart. So, and it's got a black raspberry and blackberries. And then I got these raspberries. Now I still have to get some blackberries. I am actually planting. Um, but don't judge me. <laughs> Back in October, the beginning of October, I went to a local hardware store and big box hardware store. Okay, I went to Lowe's. I don't know exactly what the rules are on saying these things, but I went to Lowe's and they had blueberry bushes on sale that were originally $13. You can look at the tags. $12.98. They were originally $13 and they were, I believe, 50% off the marked price, which was $7, so they were $3.50. And I went a little bit berserk. Now, I had the best of intentions. I was like, you know what? Yes! For $3.50 a plant, these all kind of looked a little bit dead. <laughs> and I thought maybe half of them would live. I was like, for $3.50 a plant, I'm going to buy a bunch of them. So, I got two different varieties, which if you're planting blueberries, you really ideally would have two or three different varieties. I'm not sure why. That's just what the, the tag says and what the internet says. If you know why, tell me. Something about blooming and having bigger fruit. But it doesn't make any sense to me. So, if you know, just fill me in down below in the comment section down there. Um, <laughs> and I had the best of intentions. Our vacation had been pushed back because we had COVID in August. You know, the big, big ugly COVID. That was actually pretty miserable. Um, so, my whole family was sick in August. And some of us were sick for like three weeks. Um... Then in October, we finally get to go on our vacation that had to be pushed back, which was supposed to be in August. And we went up to the beautiful Eureka Springs, Arkansas. If you've never been there, it's amazing. They're hiking, there are all kinds of caves nearby. You can go zip lining, you do all sorts of things. Um, and get you an Airbnb, we did. And for our large family, which we have seven people, so for our large family, it costed less than a hotel. Um, and then we got back and we had about a week to kind of decompress and then my dad passed away. Um, so I was in a pretty low spot and that was the beginning of November. I was pretty devastated. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Um, but, so that was pretty devastating for me um, and our lives just kind of got flipped. Um, not long after that, I found out that I was expecting so, I'm actually 20 weeks pregnant now. I was, preg I got pregnant in October. Um, so, I had big plans for these berry bushes. I was planning on going down by where my buck pin is and making a big berry patch. And that's just not, not what happened. So now I'm kind of scrambling and I know these need to be in something other than what they're in. Now, I've planted berry plants, up potted them and not really disturbed the roots too much. I've planted blueberry plants in bigger pots before. I have some down in my garden. I think they may have 
may have died last year when we were sick because I didn't water anything and they're in a pot and they only get what you have and it's like the height of the dry season for us um so I'm waiting to see if they come back but I've done this before and had success with it now these grow bags they drain a little bit too much for my tomato plants that I've had so I'm not going to tell you to plant those in it I did grow tomatoes in them but they drained way too well which is great for blueberry plants because they need well draining soil so i came back and i amended the soil it's already got cocoa core and peat and sand and a little bit of hay mixed in there um that's what was already in there and i came back and i got these on sale last year at the end of the season as well so this is miracle grow performance organics and i got these beyond peat all-purpose potting soil so I got those at the end of the year last year and I ordered some fertilizer at the end of the year last year because I like to get things ahead of time. They cost me a little bit less. I have this soil acidifier, which if you're growing blueberries, you really need something to acidify the soil. And things like azalea fertilizer is good for your blueberry plants. Um, trying to think. So that's just what I'm doing. I put some of that Beyond Peat and some of the miracle Grow in this. Like I said, it's already got sand and peat moss and cocoa core in it and uh, i'm just taking my little hand tiller here because again 20 weeks pregnant i don't want to bend over and i'm just mixing in the top of it and then we'll just like you can see i just planted these at the level that they were already at so i'll show you what we're doing here i'm taking the tags out of them and just sticking them down in there so, I'll just take this out of here. You can see it's got a lot of roots going on. And oops, I'm just roughing the roots just a touch. I'm not going overboard because I don't want to shock them. Digging down, that's deep enough. So I'm digging a hole, popping it in, and just covering around it. Guys, look, we had a peanut farm behind us year before last. I'm still finding peanut shells from the mice everywhere. Isn't that insane? How they just, they get into everything. Um, like I said, I'm taking the tag off the little container. Just shoving it through. Sticking it down in. And there we have our planted blueberry bushes. And hopefully eventually I'll just kind of take these entire grow bags and set them in the ground, add some soil around them, and have some beds for these that are in the ground. But for now, we're doing the best with what we have, doing the best with what we can afford, <laughs> and hopefully going to have tons and tons of blueberries in the future, right? And again, like I said, I'm a cereal raspberry killer. I love raspberries. They're my favorite. Um, everyone says <laughs> that tomatoes from the garden are significantly better than the tomatoes from the store, which I totally agree with. But since I had fresh raspberries, like from home, I have not really cared for store-bought raspberries. So if you have some advice on what to do with those, just leave that down below. Um, if you have any advice for blueberry care, I don't actually know a lot. I'm just doing what I can. I know to cut off the dead-looking stuff eventually. Um, <laughs> but leave any advice that you have down below and I'll see you next time.